the maths masters sorting objects. Sorting objects. Today we are learning about sorting objects. We are going to see how we can sort objects by their colour, size, shape or type. Sorting objects mean sorting them into groups. We use sorting every day when we tidy toys away into different boxes, animals are kept in different groups in fields and children are sorted into different classes and groups. Sorting by colour. Walter wants to sort these objects. What do you think Walter will do? Share your ideas with a talk partner. I'll give you a few seconds. He is going to sort them by colour. All of the shapes have been sorted and none have been left out. How many groups have been made? Write your answer in the air with your finger. That's right, there are three groups. Let's have a look. There we go. Could Walter have sorted the objects in a different way? Tell your talk partner how he could have sorted the objects. I'll give you a few seconds. That's right. He could have sorted them by shape or by size. Now Walter is going to sort some more objects. Do you think the groups will look different this time? Tell a talk partner what you think. He's going to sort them by size this time. The groups are large, medium and small. Do you think there'll be a mixture of colours in each group? Yes, that's right, because Walter isn't sorting by colours this time, so colours don't matter. If you were sorting real life objects, how would you know if they were large, medium or small? Tell a talk partner, I'll give you a few seconds. You could line up the objects to compare the sizes. Your teacher could show you now with some real life objects and shapes, if time allows. Pause the presentation for this bit section. Walter wants to find one more way of sorting objects. What could he do? Tell a talk partner. We've already sorted them by colour and size. What other way could he sort them? I'll give you a few seconds. Did you get the answer? This time he could sort them by shape. Here are the shapes. Circle, rectangle and triangle. Let's have a look. You see this time there are a mixture of colours and sizes because all we are concerned about is sh sorting by shape, nothing else. What's next? What if Walter wanted to sort these objects? With a talk partner, write on a whiteboard how Walter could sort these objects. I'll give you a few seconds. How could he sort them? Let's have a look. All the shells have been sorted, none have been left out, but this time there are only two groups. How has he sorted them? Do you know? He has sorted them by type of shell. 
How could you sort these objects? There are other ways of sorting these shells, not just the type of shell. Discuss with a partner other ways you could sort these shells. Remember, you can't leave any out. I'll give you a few seconds. Did you work it out? Yeah, you could sort by colour of shell. You could sort by size of shell. If you sorted by colour of shell, you would actually have three groups, green, blue and brown. If you sorted by size, how many groups would you have, do you think? That's right, you'd probably have three groups, small, medium and large. Well done. Now, use thumbs up, thumbs in the middle or thumbs down for each statement. Are you ready? Can you sort objects by colour? Can you sort objects by size into large, medium and small? Can you sort objects by shape? Can you think of another way to sort objects? Can you work out which method someone else has used to sort a group of objects? Well done. See you next time.